Why does my baby sister have to have a goddamn sex show? Oh. She'll make bacon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, where you going? You're not heading out, are you? I'm, I'm just going to make a phone call real quick. Yo, Kyle, where you at, man? My home, what's up? You should really come to the spot I'm at. They got some nice people out here that might be good for the agency. I just text me where you at. What the f- Hi. I am the sunshine and the sunset of your life. When I am with you, I ignite your spark, your life. Our love is not new, we have no many lifetimes. But look at me, can't you see? I'm your bubbly brown sugar. All right, man, just, uh, just text me where you at. All right, cool, cool, bet. What the f- Hi, I'm sorry, I just- Nope, not today. Please, please, please. I just need to I talk can't do to this you, right please. now. I can't do this right now. Angela, please. Angela, what? What are you doing here? Showing up at my place unannounced woman, are you crazy? Stop yelling, please. How did you even get up here? I pay all this money to live in the white man's building. Would you look at this shit? Ain't this a bitch? Please, I just, please, just listen to me. Please, please. Okay, okay. You wanna talk? You wanna do this? Let's talk. Get your ass inside. Okay, baby? Yeah, I'm okay, baby. I'll be right back. Where are you going? I'll be right back. Yeah, okay. Uh-uh. I know you're not about to get on a phone during our movie night. What are you talking about? <laughs> Whatever. Stop acting brand new and you better bring that ass right back. <laughs> Trinisha Hawkins. Mr. Hawkins. Do you wake up thinking about dick? <laughs> what do you think? Girl, I'm about to... Oh, and not until you get back. Trinisha, I am a man. I am not a piece of meat. Uh, well, them gray sweatpants tell me different. <gasps> Baby, stop, stop. Don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, uh, it's your boy Zeke. Uh, brother, I'm just calling you to see how you're doing, all right? There's nothing wrong, nothing's going on, but uh, when you have a moment, just give me a call back. All right? All right, man. Talk to you soon. Bye. Babe, you're missing Damn. the best part. What the hell's your problem? You were asleep the whole entire time. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. You see this right here? This is evidence. Evidence of what? Evidence that you were drooling all over me because you fell asleep during the whole movie. Boy, stop playing. I ain't playing. Just forget it. You just make me so sick. Oh, I know you like it when I make you sick, but get no. over here. Get it. Come I here. don't know what Come you're here. talking Come about. Here. Come here. This is this is the two of you. This chemistry right here, it just works. I'm not ready for you. What are you talking about? That's perfect. She, no, but maybe by the end of the but by the end of the show, you'll be ready. How about that? You can pitch in a second. Okay, so how am I not ready for you? You're not ready. Save it for the show. I'm gonna I'm gonna pitch it to I'm gonna pitch it to the network, and we got this. Hey, um, I'm sorry, but I have to go. Would you Would you guys excuse me, please? You okay? Wait, wait, wait. Where are you going? I'm having a little bit of emergency. Um. Everything's fine. Is everything okay? Everything's great. Um, I have to go. Feel free to hang out. Thank you. Thank you so much for everything. Um, thank you. Think about what I was talking to you about, okay? Um, keep drinking and eat and have fun. I'm gonna go. Hey, what's going on? Kwame, my mom ran away from home again. And I don't want to sound selfish, but this is so hard. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I know. <sighs> Let me grab my coat and I'll come with you. At least can wrap up and handle no, this. No, it's fine. Thank you, friend, it's fine. 
I love you. I gotta go. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? I love you too. Well, I'm waiting. Don't just stand there stuck on stupid Angela. Why are you doing this to me? What do you want? I had to say sorry. Baby, I'm so sorry for what I did to you. So you came all this way to say sorry. Okay? You're sorry. Bed. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. me, Caleb. I just need you to listen to me, please. Mm -hmm. Baby, I'm so sorry for losing a baby, Caleb. It was all my fault. And I can't live the rest of my life looking at you, knowing No, and I, I killed our baby. What do you mean killed our baby? You had a miscarriage because of the accident. It wasn't anyone's fault. I never, I never blamed you. I told you that. You were a good ass man, Caleb. You were so good to me, Caleb. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I killed the baby. Why do you keep saying that? We lost the baby. The doctor said that there was nothing that we could have done. Caleb, we didn't lose the baby because of an accident. I, I was, I, uh, I was, I was, I was drinking. I was drinking. I know, I know you think I'm a horrible person. After my father died, I just couldn't hold it together. You know, I, th I thought I'd take one night just to have a few drinks, just, just to numb the pain. I killed the baby and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You were drinking? That's how you felt because you were drinking? tell you because I was ashamed. You were drinking while carrying our baby. What did you do? What did you do, Angela? Ah! Gregory, where is mom? What do you need me to do? She's fine. It's okay. What happened? Was she wearing her watch? Of course she was. Otherwise, who knows where we would have found her. So, where were you? You're supposed to be watching her. How dare you? Okay, everybody, calm down. Oh, Meg, you stay out of this. You better slow your roll. Don't run up here acting crazy when we're with my every single day while you're out there in the streets doing God knows what. God knows what. And you call us taking care of mom? Oh, you are doing a big of job. Jewel, you aren't even here. So what makes you think you got a right to say a goddamn thing? Just because I didn't sacrifice my entire life doesn't mean that I'm not carrying my weight. I installed those alarms, I bought those expensive ass cameras that you refuse to turn on, and do you know how I pay for it, Gregory? Yes, I do, yes, from your little section. section. All right, enough! Okay, none of this is helping and we are all overwhelmed. I finally got your mom to calm down and I will not have this temper tantrum or whatever this is. Wait, person, zip it up! You better know you're talking to a senior lady. Do your way out of pocket. Tell your wife to step back. Sweetie, I'm gonna go to bed. Come with. I'll be up in a few. Uh, really? Smart move. What the hell is wrong with you, Jewel? Tired of this shit. I'm Papa's 
expensive as alarms. I paid for those cameras. And for some crazy ass reason, you refuse to turn them on. And then I have to come here, run in here in the middle of the fucking night, and I feel like I'm having a heart attack. That's what's wrong with me, bruh. Oh, now you ain't got nothing to say. Grow up. You first. Baby, what's wrong? Um, something's wrong, baby. Something's wrong with my spirit. I think I gotta pray. But now is the time to get rid of anger, rage, malicious behavior, slander, and dirty language. Make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. How could you keep something like this from me? And now you tell me after all this time? Angela, you just left. We were a family. I didn't mean to wake you. Did you have a bad dream? Yeah. I had a bad dream. Oh, poor baby. You want to lay down with mommy? Please. Okay, baby. No, no, forgive me. I'm sorry. <laughs> baby, I'm sorry. Just forgive me. Yeah. Okay. Come on. That's my girl. Mm -hmm. No, no, you're gonna give up. Forgive get up. me. Get up now. Me. I'm sorry. Did you come all this way? Looking for forgiveness, Angela? Yes. Okay. Look at me. Look into my eyes. What do you see? Forgive others. The man you knew. The one who fell madly in love with you. Listen to me carefully, woman. He is gone. So if you came all this way looking for forgiveness, you wasted your time. Because I can assure you, you won't find it here. Baby. Baby, what's wrong? Sweetie, hey. Hey. What's, what's going on? I can't believe you came. What? 
Baby, of course I can. <laughs> Don't do that. Do what? Pretend. Not with me. That's funny. You know that you're gonna sit up here and talk to me about pretending when you're going around acting like everything is all good between us. True. And we both know that's not the case. I really don't want to do this right now. Of course you don't. Because, because you never want to be the bad guy. True. Why did you call me over here? Because everything sucks. And you're like the one person in the world that I know would be nice to me. So in other words, you're using me. That's an ugly word. If the shoe fits, Drew. Oh, snap. Gabe finally clapped back. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Well, Drew, what is happening right now? Is that what you want? Some man just to be dogging you out? No. Then what the hell is this all about, Drew? I missed you. Like, damn. My mom ran away from the house again. And I was so stressed out. And I called you, but what gives me the right to do that after the way I fucked up? You mean like how you called off our engagement? Yeah. And when I asked you why, you said that it was because of God. That fuck up? Oh, 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 no, don't don't pipe down now, baby. Speak up. Yes. That fuck up? Okay, yes. yes, okay. So let me get this straight. You're the one that calls off our wedding, and now you get to be the one that's mad at me? Why? You didn't fight for us. You just let me go and accepted it, and because of God, nonetheless. Like, who just swallows that? You weren't even, like, big mad. What? Are you insane? Yes, actually, I think so. Dude, what do you want me to say right now? Huh? Oh, what, you want your ego stroke right now? Is that it? Is that what you want? Fine, Jewel. Fine. I was pissed. I was pissed! But what the hell was I supposed to do? I don't know. Yell! Scream! Mm, Make yes. a spectacle of yourself! Yep. yep, there it is. There it is. There it is right there. That ego. You claim that I'm the love of your life. But the one time that it was tested, you didn't prove it. Oh, no, no, the jewel, now don't you dare. Don't you dare go there. Look, I, I don't know what's going on with you right now, but quite frankly, I'm not about to sit up here and let you disrespect me, especially... It... Jewel, especially when you left me, I couldn't even breathe. I couldn't breathe, Jewel. Is that enough for you? Or what? You want to see my pain too? You want to see this? You want to see my pain too? Is that it? Huh? Why, Jewel? Why? I don't know. Maybe it's just what I was taught. I don't know. Jewel, that's not love. How can you forgive me? When I was so ugly. I don't, I don't understand. Jewel, I can forgive you because I love you. I love you, Jewel. That's all the reason that I need. Come here. Come here. No. No. I will never forgive you. Not only for leaving me, but for destroying everything. And for what? I was your man. All you had to do was talk to me. 
was supposed to be your rock when you grew weary, but you just ran. And that is something that I just cannot forgive. Above, Above all, all, clothe, clothe yourself, yourself with, with love, love which, which binds us all together, together in perfect, perfect harmony. You take your sins <laughs> and you give them to God because there's no room for them here. I cannot hold up on New York, sorry, Kayla. No, 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 no. no. I died and came all the way back to life last night watching Jewel and her homies from Bubbly Brown Sugar. Hello, what if I told you there was a 99% chance you were gonna get that money? Yo, Kyle, where you at, man? I'm home, man, what's up? Good morning. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Child, wasn't that a lot? We learned so much in this episode, including the big reveal as to what Angela was harboring for all this time and what made her run away for six months. And I think now that we know the reason, I think a lot of people are going to be able to empathize with Angela because that must have been a, a a very heavy burden to carry and and to feel like you couldn't tell your partner also could have been just an extra compounded weight upon losing a child but i feel that caleb is so distraught and so angry because angela perhaps has exhibited those kind of reckless behaviors in the past the partying the drinking the pill popping perhaps because when he was when she was like oh I was drinking, he kind of like blew up. It was almost like a trigger. Like I thought we had moved past this part of your being, your nature, and clearly I was misled. I couldn't tell you because I was ashamed. You were drinking while carrying our baby? What did you do? What did you do, Angela? Ah! So we'll see if he is able to forgive Angela in the long term. At the moment, he's like, if you came here looking for forgiveness, you come to the wrong place, shorty. But on the flip side, we see that Gabe is totally able to forgive Jewel. And, and he comes running to her when she's upset and frustrated and, and even though she's picking at him, that like, you know, people do that sometimes. I know that, you know, sometimes women, or I'll speak for myself, sometimes I can do that, I can pick, like, cause I wanna just like, you know, there's like this energy and I, and I just wanna like pinch you. And he's like, what are you doing? Like, stop it. And he's just there and supportive. And he still says like, even though you broke my heart, I'm willing to forgive you. So we have these two, these two different, people kind of experiencing and needing the same thing forgiveness and to be healed and and one is kind of receiving it you know we see jewel and game she's getting the closure the healing she needs but then caleb is kind of like throwing up the middle finger <laughs> 
And speaking more about Jewel and her family, we learn that Jewel's family or mom has early onset Alzheimer's. And they are both in the position of being the caregiver. So Gregory and Megan, they have each other, they have the house, and they're with her, you know, every day. But Jewel feels that she's not really being as appreciated for what she does contribute, which is the alarms, the watches, the cameras. And I feel like these mishaps are happening because Gregory, for some reason, is kind of resistant to using or implementing what she does contribute. I bought those expensive ass alarms. I paid for those cameras. And for some crazy ass reason, you refuse to turn them on. And then I have to come here, run in here in the middle of the fucking night, and I feel like I'm having a heart attack. I'm sure it can be extremely frustrating for Jewel to, to get these kind of calls when there are parameters in place. But then you see Gregory on the flip side, who's kind of pretty calm, he is not panicking, and it's probably because, you know, they see it every day. They're kind of used to navigating, you know. I'm, I'm not even sure you really get used to that. I know it's very, very hard to be a caregiver for someone with that kind of um, ailment. But he's definitely channeling it um, in a more mature way than I would say Jewel. Grow up. You first. And we also see that Jewel isn't as together as, you know, she thinks she is. So everything seems to be up in the air right now. You know, we have Zeke and Trinisha kind of anchoring it all. You know, they're there praying, you know, for, I think, you know, for everyone, you know, that they're, I mean, definitely Zeke is praying for his boy. He feels something is happening, but we see this like underlying, um, I guess, an intercession happening that I think is needed for both of them at the same time. So we'll see what happens. We'll see, you know, how Caleb and Angela move forward or how just Caleb digests everything. And then we'll see what happens with, you know, with Jewel and Gabe. Um, could it be the start of something new again? What do you think? Let me know.